Let's do more base 5 multiplication. This time we are going to do a problem with more digits, and so we are not going to use the manipulatives because that will require drawing too many pieces. And let's set up the problem. This first number is 2, 1, base 5. So uh, we are going to put down this number first. And we have 2, 1, base 5. And then we, we really just set up this multiplication problem as how we do it in base 10. Yeah, but just keep in mind that we are still doing things in base 5. That would be good. So now let's do the multiplication. The first step is to start with the 3 and then multiply with the 2 digits in the top number. So 3 times 1, we are going to get the 3 here. So um, it's essentially just one unit making 3 copies, so we are going to get 3 units. And now the next step is more interesting. Um, when you take the 3 and multiply by 2, this 2 represents the number of longs that you have in the first number. And so we have 2 longs and you're making 3 copies of that. Imagine that you actually have two longs here. Let, let me show the work here. So you have two longs, and then you are making three copies of the, those two longs, right? So how many longs do you get in total? You actually will get six longs. But that's not really a minimal set. So we're not going to put down the number six here. Instead, you need to first rewrite this as a minimal set before you can, before you can put down the result. So we take five of those longs and convert them into one flat, right? So we have one flat here. And then we have one long left that we didn't use. And so the result or the minimal set for six longs would be one flat and one long. And that means you're going to put, instead of putting down the six, you're going to put the one here. And then you are going to carry. So we carry the flat to the next place value. And so that one, you can keep track of the carrying directly on the multiplication chart. And that's really just this flat that's being carried. And so uh, because we do not have any more digits here to multiply by the three, so you're just going to put down that one flat. Now the next step is to start with this one and then multiply this one by those two numbers those two digits at the top. So one times one, you get the one here. And then since we're we're using this place value here, so we need to start writing down the results directly below this one. And so one times two, you get the two. And so that's it. And then just remember this is addition. Um, and then you may ask me, what, what about this digit here? What do we do? You can omit the zero or you can just fill in the zero so to hold the place value. Formally, you, we can put in the zero here to, to hold the place value. And so you have a three digit number adding another three digit number. And so the adding is easy. So three plus zero is three. One plus one is two. One plus two is three. And then you put down the subscript and that's your final answer. So the answer for 2, 1, base 5 times 1, 3, base 5 is 3, 2, 3, base 5. And we are going to do a more difficult example next time. Thank you for watching.